Welcome to Seam Edu News. Here are some news. Seam Edu recently came up with a short film titled A Letter to Madiba. It was something new, innovative, interesting, and something really to learn from. It was written and directed by Mr. Harold Reicher. Let's have a look at what went into creating this visual extravaganza. Roll sound. Action. A Letter to Madiba was a great learning experience for the students working with Mr. Harold Raichur, Abid sir, Asif sir, Niharika ma'am, Deep sir, Kunal sir and Ganesh sir. Applaudable efforts were put in from a 10-year-old Ananya who not only gave her best while acting in the movie but also was patient enough to wait on the set for hours while the other actors did their scenes. Uh, this character was about this girl's character and uh, uh, the whole idea of a girl standing up or asking questions about her own basically surroundings and uh, that's how this whole story got built. Uh, actually it happened over a period of time, it was not exactly arranged or something and when I sat down to write the script that's where the whole thing got unraveled. <laughs> Light effects by the professional added a glimpse of perfection to the movie. Students from CMRU brought life on the set and creativity in the movie. The zest among the entire crew was high and the senior members like the director, production team made sure that this temper was maintained from the first light on the set till the very last. It was really tiring at times, but that hardly counted. And in all, it proved to be a blast of an experience and we look forward to getting more such opportunities in the times to come. Conducting various workshops related to media education is the identity of Seamless Education Academy. Recently, Seam Edu organized a full-day workshop of filmmaking for the aspirants of Pune, which got a very good response. Seamless Education Academy conducted free workshop on digital filmmaking for budding filmmakers and students on 20th November 2011. In this seminar, students learned basics of film direction, camera and editing. The workshop was conducted by alumni of Sydney Film School and line producer of Toolbox Animation, Mr. Samir Talwalkar, Shweta Sangvi, alumni of New York Film Academy, and Mr. Dharmendra Chauhan, Director of Broadcast Media, Seam Edu. The workshop was conducted in well-equipped studio of Seam Edu. Participants really enjoyed hands-on practice with camera and other equipments. Seam Edu conducts such workshops regularly for those who wish to make entry in the exciting world of filmmaking. Seamless Education Academy took ample efforts not to miss this year's Times Expo held at Sun and Sand. The expo went on full-fledged and the slot allotted to the volunteering students was well utilized. An education expo was organized by the Times Group. Various education institutes from India and overseas participated in this exhibition. The event was a two-day affair on the 19th and 20th November. The marketing and HR team were both present at the venue to solve queries by the parents and the students. For the institution, they get an opportunity to see a variety of students. Okay. They get an opportunity to understand what students want to really do. They also get an opportunity to showcase what their institution could really be. So it serves both the purpose. We got so many inquiries over there. Also, like you know, the people who were not aware ab about CMEDU, we made them aware about CMEDU. Now they will not forget about us. The CMEDU stall had a Mac, an LCD TV, and a camera present on the location to capture the visitors' views and reactions. The expo gave an opportunity to the students to explore various higher study opportunities here in India and abroad. Mood Indigo is the cultural festival of IIT Mumbai and also Asia's largest college cultural festival. CMEDU is going to participate in Mood Indigo next month.
Mood Indigo is known as Mood Eye or MI, which is a cultural fest of IIT Bombay. It is a four-day long event. The event held towards the end of December every year is a student-run non-profit organization. Numerous famous artists such as Adi Burman, Saroj Khan, Shankar Ehsan Loy have been associated with the fest. Media students of CMEDU are looking forward and are excited to participate in the festival. Preparations are going on after the eliminations at the institute level for dance, music, fine arts and more such events. Pronite is the department of Modai that organizes the concerts or pro shows. It has staged various national and international artists of various genres of music like rock, Sufi, folk and Bollywood music. MI has also hosted Indian rock and fusion bands like Indiscreet, Euphoria, Indian Ocean, etc. Pronite also organizes Livewire, which is one of India's biggest rock band competition and has been a launchpad for bands such as Parikrama, Zero, Vayu, etc. Some more news after the break. Welcome back. MIFTA, the Marathi International Film and Theatre Awards Ceremony, happened recently. One of the organizers was the Ashwami Films, the brand ambassador of which was Salman Khan. This year, MIFTA took place at London, where cinema originated. They had a five-day trip planned, which consisted of the tour of the city, cricket matches and the gala award ceremony. The first ever international Marathi movie was premiered during the five-day festival. Renowned Marathi actor Anand Ingre was present at the venue. आणि एक आपलेपणाची भावना या सगळ्या सोहळ्याला होती नुसतंच कुठल्या तरी एका वेगळ्या सोहळ्याला गेलोय आणि आपण काम केलंय असं नव्हतं तर एक महेश मांजरेकरांनी हा संपूर्ण सोहळा ज्या पद्धतीने आयोजित केला त्यामध्ये आपलेपणाची एक सगळ्यात जास्त जाणवलेली जी भावना आहे ती आपलेपणाची भावना आहे इन शॉर्ट दिस इयर्स मिफ्टा वॉज अ ग्रँड सक्सेस दी पीपल ऑफ पुणे got to see a colorful and artistic exhibition of the art of origami it was held at the tilak smarak mandir this month let's take a look at it the origami mitra sangstha in pune organized an origami exhibition for 3 days in tilak smarak it was a wonderful sight to watch the various forms created by members of the sangstha simply by using paper many of the designs were of foreign origami designers which were folded and created by Pune Sangstha members. There were also creations of Pune designers, which included designs of a variety of objects, as well as human and animal life. People from all age groups came to see the exhibition and also enrolled in for the workshops of origami organized by the Sangstha. Social worker Mr. Anil Avachat was also present at the exhibition and he willingly showed the basic shapes of origami and his own beautiful creations to the visiting people. Android continues to stay at the top of the mobile platform race. Many users are opting for this operating system. Let's see how. RIM, Microsoft and Symbian all registered negative growth. It seems that only Apple and Google are left standing in the smartphones market. The website Comscore also reports that the world's smartphone user base grew by 10% within the three-month period ending in August, 
the total number of world smartphone owners is estimated to be about 84.5 million and about 37 million of them has android on their smartphones hard to believe but it's true as of today there are 5 lakhs android devices activated each and every day and it is only accelerating so much so that it's a number that is growing at over 4.4% every week which the father of android andy rubin let us know in a recent tweet with this we end the news bulletin goodbye